All right, Erica, thank you so much. Well, if you are sniffling and sneezing and have a sore throat, <laughs> I didn't mean to talk about you, Kevin, but Sorry. you do have all these symptoms, <laughs> you might have what's going around. Yeah, I'm almost over it, though. Then again, you might not. So yes. here's medical reporter Liz Bonus to explain. Liz. Hey, guys, good afternoon once again. What is going around are a couple of really nasty viruses that can make you feel, as Cammy knows, pretty sick. The problem is that allergy season just hit as well. So here's pediatricians with Health Source of Ohio to help us figure out the difference. Just a few weeks ago, Olivia, who's now five, came in to see her pediatrician, Dr. Jillian Schaffel. She was sick two weeks ago with a um, strep throat twice. Um, a ear infection, too, at the same time. They diagnosed her with both. But without seeing the doctor, Olivia might not have known whether or not the symptoms she had were some of those viral infections going around or allergies, which are now in full bloom. We're definitely starting to see those allergies coming. Dr. Sheffield told me that's because the same symptoms often show up for both. Coughing, sore throat, stuffy nose, very similar, very overlapping symptoms. So here's what you need to know to try to separate those symptoms. If it's something like a viral illness, it tends to come on suddenly and then after a few days tends to diminish. Allergies may come on gradually and they don't go away. You know, most viruses after the first four or five days start to improve a bit, whereas seasonal allergies can last for the entire season. For those such as Olivia who are diagnosed with an infection, prescription medications are generally needed to clear them up. The same may be true, however, for allergies. Sometimes it's just really a visit to the doctor to know. So uh, you probably figured out that if you have a fever, which I did, that's a yeah. bad sign. If you don't, they may say, oh, allergies are starting to set in. The problem is that you can have a viral illness that can become bacterial, like strep throat, mm. and then you do need a prescription. Sure. So uh, okay, sometimes okay. if it's not clearing up, you're like, you're going to have to go back even though you thought it was a virus. But it is. there's a couple of them, and you had all the symptoms. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm over it. I'm almost <laughs> yeah. over it. If you've yeah. not had a fever for 24 hours, you're not supposed to be contagious. So. And I didn't come to work Friday because I didn't want to contain the rest of you. And you know, so. I appreciate that. I know we feel guilty. We call no, in. I, I want to call. Please stay home. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the rest of us are well.